This weekend is the 17th year of the Donna Marathon. Runners and walkers are getting their steps in to help raise money for supporting breast cancer patients and research to find a cure for cancer. Newt's Jacks reporter Aaron Farrar shows us what motivated people to run this year and the biggest change Jacksonville's mayor says people will see. Kelly, Kelly, a race Kelly, for hope and support for those faced with breast cancer and the push to cure all forms of the disease. Will and Jacob Poor are running this weekend for their mother, who fought breast cancer last year and is now in remission. She's always like in good spirits all the time, so um, she had a good positive attitude throughout, and I think that helped her out too. Thousands of people running and walking a lot of miles through downtown Jacksonville and eventually Jacksonville Beach in tribute to those dealing with a difficult health challenge. It's heartbreaking to see that so many people are affected, but it's encouraging to see that they're here trying to make a difference, trying to raise awareness, trying to find a cure. This is also celebrating survivorship. Jacksonville Mayor Donna Deegan is the catalyst of this longtime event. She had three different bouts with cancer between 1999 and 2007. That third time was, was pretty scary. Um, it was a cancer that had, had, was in my left lung, that it was uh, um, a situation where I really thought, oh my goodness, maybe this is it. What's different this year is at this health and wellness expo, it's educating people of new treatments available to fight cancer. At the flex field where the health and wellness expo are happening, behind me, you see all of these signs. There are 26 of them where people can sign and write encouraging posts on these signs. There are also cases of fitting tributes to those who are battling cancer right now, and in some cases, some who unfortunately died from cancer. UNF's head baseball coach, Joe Mercadante, and the team ran Saturday morning all in honor of former longtime baseball coach Tim Parenton, who died from cancer the last October. He's a, a man that impacted most of our roster in one way or the other. And, uh, you know, we've made some, some changes to the stadium to kind of remember him. And uh, it's obviously something that will be on our hearts today. I hope that for people that still see that I'm here living and breathing, thank God, uh, that it gives them some hope. Julia, hi, guys. Hope for people in this fight Jody, to prevail. Linda. I'm Aaron Farrar, Channel 4, Shasha. the local station. Oh, Renee! I love you, Renee. Good. Donna Weekend will wrap up tomorrow in the marathon and half marathon will go on. Ultra marathon will also finish tomorrow. They started their 110-mile race this morning.